and welcome to the woods. My name is Atlan and this is my video. Welcome to my witch tutorial. I hope you like it. Now, if you excuse me for a moment, I will go get my prop. Because what is a witch without a black cat? Vicious. Very vicious. Sorry, Luna. She's just sitting on my lap right now. <laughs> Ta-da! There she is. Hey, she cute. Cute and fluffy. Just like me. All right, first thing to do is pull your hair back. Make sure there is no hair in your face. Take out those earrings. There we go. Now we are going to whiten our faces because apparently I'm not white enough already. And now my face and my neck match. Yay! Now I'm putting on some regular old eyeliner using a regular old eyeliner pencil because it's the easiest thing to use. It needs to be big, it needs to be thick. So don't worry about making your eyes too black. You're a witch, not a fairy. Add little wing to make your eyes fly. With my black Snazru body paint, I am painting my lips as black as my eyes. I'm also raising my cupid's bow a little bit to make my lips a little bigger. And I'm stretching out the corners to give myself a permanent creepy smile. With my Graftopian red and purple, I made a mixture that I am adding at the top of my head. I'm then going over the red and purple with some black. Make sure you go into your hairline so you don't get a weird ridge between the two. Then go over the black again with your red and blend the two together. Repeat ad nauseum. With your black, go down your cheekbones to make them pop. Then go over the black with your mixture of purple and red. After that, you guessed it, you blend! I'm going over my white areas again to make an even bigger contrast. With my purple, I am shading my eyelids. With a very tiny brush, I'm drawing in some veins under my eyes. I'm also coloring in my eyebrows to give them more contrast. With my dark purple, I am now going under and above my eyes to make them even darker. Now I am reapplying my veins because they were gone, which was not my intention. At this part in the video, I decided to make my lips even longer to give myself an even creepier smile. I also decided that my eyes weren't dark enough, so with some black, I drew in the corners of my eyes with black. You can accentuate your nose by following your eyebrows all the way down to your nose. Don't forget to blend. And I used a mixture of the dark purple together with the black that was already in the corner of my eyes to give my nose a little bit of a lift because I don't really have a really big nose. For the fun part. To be an actual witch, you need some freaky symbols. Preferably, they have to be a little bit symmetric. So, 
that's what I have been trying to do. This was the hardest part because, you know, you can't really put a ruler on your head and make the lines go even. But you can try. giving my neck a little bit of color as well so there's not too much of a contrast between my actual skin and my witchy skin If you have any comments, questions, or general wonderings, please put them in the comment section below. Also, if, you, if you'd like me something to do, please let me know. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Now I have the finishing touch. You can do this with or without the blood. I think it's fun because I like using the blood. If you think it's too much, then, then don't. I like it. I like it to bleed. Now the fun thing about this blood is that it actually forms a droplet so it slowly falls down your face so you can you do have to be careful because last time I did this it fell right into my clothes and it's kind of hard to wash out it does come off though it's not like you have to buy new clothes or something or anything it's just not very fun. No. See, this one's falling already. <laughs> <laughs>